Hello again. Week three, you'll find in your work packets, is very similar to week two. This week, our theme will be what we call adapted or fractured fairy tales and folk tales. So, for example, if we read the story of the three little pigs last week, this week we might read the true story of the three little pigs, where it's told from a different character's perspective. You'll notice that with your Raz books, we have five of those again, and we've tried to throw in some of those different kinds of folk tales. You might see one that matches one of your books from week two, but is a different um, adaptation or version of the story. We've continued on with our color coding. So again, reading is green, writing in orange, word work in yellow, and math in blue with our suggested schedule of what you might do each day. For writing, um, reading, sorry, we have a poem that you can read, practice reading your, with fluency on this poem. And you also might do a little word work with this if you wanna look for some vowel teams. A Scholastic News with questions. Remember, you can always access Scholastic News online with the um, website up here at the top. And then one or two additional Scholastic News to use for independent reading. For writing this week, we'll continue writing some opinions and responses to the fairy tales, and we'll also be starting to make some comparisons between the two. So you'll notice in each of your packets there'll be a Venn diagram, and I'll be doing the Venn diagrams along with you in the videos when I read the stories, but comparing the different versions of each of the folk tales. Word work, um, we made a mistake. We stapled it together wrong, so Wednesday's on the front. If you want to flip to the other side, start with Monday, go ahead. Otherwise, just start with Wednesday. We all kind of make mistakes once in a while. And last is math. Similar to last week, you're going to do one page front and back each day along with a story problem. As you solve the story problem, try to think of two different ways. Maybe you solve it with a number line and then you solve it with a break apart strategy. So just think about how can I do it differently. And also in this packet, we have some information from our school counselor, Ms. Stefan, about social emotional learning and handling some of the stress that might be happening during this time. I hope to see you soon.